Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some nail swatches. And as always, I have my little stand here ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put a base coat on. I'm not like buffing the shine off the nails and stuff like I usually do. Only because these are just swatches, so I don't really care about like prepping the nail or anything like that I'm just gonna have it for you know reference for the nail colors and the set I have has six colors today so usually all the sets I get have six colors I don't know why they always use six but Seems like all the sets from all different companies have they come with six um, polishes so my stand only fits five all of my stands only fit five no five fingers so I got a little extra one right here this base coat I have is running low that's why you see me like tipping it over I actually have to order more base coat because surprisingly I'm running kind of low I haven't ordered base coat in quite a while because I had so much like so many base coats in comparison to top coat I run through top coat so I, I haven't ordered any base coat but now I'm pretty low so we're gonna have to order some base coat soon but here is the set that I'm gonna swatch and it's by Born Pretty. I've tried some of their polishes before. I've swatched some on this channel, I believe. Yes, I'm almost certain. I'm actually looking at the top coat I have here by them, but it's a matte top coat, so I'm not gonna use it today because I don't wanna I don't wanna do these matte because these are like jelly colors so I actually have one of the colors on today very pretty look at that so I made sure that I use clear nails because I'm mainly going to use these colors on clear nails because I really like the, like the clear jelly look and when I got this set I was specifically looking for like jelly pinks and stuff so this says shine myself I don't know if that's what the set is called I don't think so and then here's the polishes I'll take them out of here because I'm gonna gonna put them away honestly I've had to set for a couple of months I've had it for a couple of months and never used it until recently. I completely forgot about it because I wanted to make a swatch video. I wanted to make a swatch video, but then um, when I did my nails recently, I was just kind of thinking about what I can do. I wanted something simple and jelly, like sheer something's on here and then I remembered that I actually had this set okay. so let's go ahead a lot of the colors look similar on the bottle see that it looks similar so originally I wasn't gonna do swatch swatches for this but I actually want to um see and compare the colors so we have this first one they do have names this one is sycamore street all right so this is the born pretty that's what bp is strawberry series gel so i guess it's called the strawberry series i'm gonna leave the link to this set if it's still available because sometimes i get things on amazon and i go back to leave the link for you guys but it's it'll be sold out or something or to be 
something different now so that's one coat um trying to remember i don't think it's this color that i used i'll know it when i see when i see the name i'll know it so this is sycamore street i'm gonna have to put them in order because because they're very similar i don't want them to um yeah because they're very similar i don't want to confuse myself so this next one is caged bird my, I know my cuticle is so dry. On my thumb, I should have put some cuticle oil on before I started. So this one is a little more sheer than that first one. Let's see. They look so, it looks so similar, right? It looks like if I put another coat of this, it'll look exactly like this color. I don't know. This color looks a little bit darker. Yeah, it is. Look at that. It's like a red, actually. Let's keep these in order. Put that in for 60 seconds. Oops. I always hit my stand never fails so this is like a sheer reddish color and I have something similar and I liked it a lot I ran through that and um, it's by the brand Emily something like that I'll show you guys the bottle actually but it's like a sheer red color and it's so pretty I used it a good amount of times and then I went back and I don't think they have any more. Actually, this brand, oh no, it's this brand, not Emily, Vindini. So this brand has, has um, well they had, see, this the rice, um, nice red, like jelly color. This brand had some nice jelly color pinks and I wish I would have stocked up on it because I went back and they have no more. It's been out of stock and it doesn't seem like it's ever going to be back in stock because I kept going back. I think I threw the bottle up yeah, of the pinks. I kept going back and they had no more. It's always, it can, continues to be out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. All right. Let me not confuse myself here. So these are all done. Yeah, so that red color was, um, oh, flower, flower wedding was that reddish color. It looks red. It could very well be like a pink, but it looks red. And then we have another color that's a little darker and this is cranberries i do like that they have names because a lot of the polish i get usually just has numbers this looks like what i have on my hand but it's not i think i, re I will remember the name when I see it, it does look very similar though. I don't think it's cranberries. And we have this one, which is Orphelia. Interesting name. Let me see what this one is. Miss Coco. I think I use that Miss Coco. None of the names are sounding familiar now. Let me see. Sycamore Street. Was it Sycamore Street? Oh man, I guess I'll have to see when they are fully done. I was gonna write it down too. I was gonna write down what color I used on my on my nails. So this is like a peach pink. It's 
like a little peach pink Orphelia. That's nice. It looks a little streaky right here, so let me try to fix that. Put a little bit of a thinner coat. So I could see a difference in the colors already. I'm gonna put two coats. I have two coats on my hand right now. All right, yeah, I think I used Miss Coco. I, I vaguely remember, like I thought the name was started with an S. It's not that Sycamore Street. I thought it started with an S, the one I have on my hand, but I think it's this Miss Coco. Starting back again, we have Sycamore Street. I'm gonna do one more coat of that. Sycamore Street looks like a uh, you know, kind of looks tan. It's a really pretty color. I don't know how the color is coming up on your screens. I added some extra light for this video because I know the colors are on the lighter side and they're sheer. Very pretty. I know I had to file a little rugged edge, but I didn't even bother because it's um just, what's it called? Making sure I'm confused now. It's just swatches, so. I didn't bother prepping. Okay. Because they're looking really similar right now. So this is Sycamore Street. Let's close that because we're done. And then we have the caged bird again. Well, caged bird. Not the caged bird. And these, these two are starting to look. The one I just did and this one more on the pink beige side. Like a nude. And that's very pretty. Super pretty. What is that? This cage bird. Yeah, that's cage bird. Let's put them in there. I'm about to take that first one out so that I don't get confused. 60 seconds has been fine for these they're drying in 60 seconds so that's good to know now we have this red looking one really pretty color these will look darker on solid color nails so if you have like the white nails it's gonna show up a little bit different maybe I'll do a sample one of that so I can see how it looks but I like the look of it on clear nails really pretty that's nice and that is uh, flower flower wedding <laughs> it's a weird name Our wedding, let's close you. Okay. Next, we have this one. Once again, this is cranberries. Very pretty color. This actually looks like what I have on my nails. I'm starting to second guess just what color I have on my nails. But it's looking like it's cranberries. Look at that. Well, hmm. 
It looks very similar. I don't know. What do you think? It looks similar, but I actually don't think it's it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's the color. It looks just ever so slightly off. I'm gonna have to wait and see. Alright, and then we have Orphelia. It's a pretty name. And this one is more on... I think this is like the most beige looking color from this set. But they still all have like a pinkish undertone, even though when it looks red, it has like a pinkish undertone. Really, really pretty colors. Hey, Ophelia, let's put you over there on the side. Really trying not to confuse them. So I'm gonna keep all of them in order here. All right, let's take this one out. This one was the um, cranberries, yeah. And inside is Orphelia. Let's put her back in there for 30 seconds more. Then last, we have Miss Coco. And I think Miss Coco is what I have on my nails. Yeah, because look at that cranberry color over there. I'm gonna compare it right now. Oops. I know I'm a little rough. So, yeah, done. Okay, so yeah, I have Miss Coco on my hands, on my nails, seems to be. I have something sticky on my nail. So let's see, this is Miss Coco, this is Cranberries. They look so similar, but this one looks lighter than this. So I'm really leaning towards Miss Coco on my nails. cute little name too, Miss Coco. Let me let's call these. I'm gonna have to write this down on the swatch stick because the colors are so similar. Like really, really similar. So I'm gonna have to write the name. They do have a number on it. This one is BP, which I'm assuming stands for Born Pretty. And then it says SPO2. This one is SP10. And it even has a school on it. It's all the same those numbers though. All right, top coat. So I'm not gonna use the matte top coat by Born Pretty. I'm pretty sure I have a, I had a regular gloss top coat from them that I probably just used up. So I have this one today, Venalisa. Love this top coat, love it. Look at this nice giant bottle. Love it. Um, I think it's a great top coat that's on the more um, less expensive side. Of course, there's better quality top coats than this, and there's top coats that are in like the 20s, you know, 20 something dollars. Um, this one is a good one that's still on the lower price range side. I love it. It stays nice and shiny. I love the consistency of it. I love the gigantic bottle. I think it's like seven, eight dollars, which might be a little pricey or might sound a little pricey because you can get like, look at that, beautiful. You can get like a Beatles top coat and base coat set for like six bucks. Um, but I really, really do like this one. I like the Beatles top coat. It's a good and expensive um, top and bottom coat set, but I think this one is very well worth the price. 
that's just my opinion so let's go ahead and put top coat a little goes a long way with this top coat and I have to be careful because sometimes I have a little heavy hand it's actually what I did on my nails that I have on now at least on this hand I went a little bit over like my cuticle area because I did I did this hand on my nails while it was on while the nails were on my hand and then this side I just did them on the stand and plopped them on <laughs> after I was done with them but the consistency is great so it's nice and like smooth and silky so a little bit is like goes a long way even know if I have swatch sticks left I haven't really been caring about doing swatches as much especially because I haven't been buying too many I haven't been buying as much polish as as I want because I have so much already Okay, I do. I literally have polishes that I've never used yet. Because sometimes I'll get a set. Most of the time I'll get a set. When I buy gel polish, it'll be in a set. And I usually am getting that set for specific color in my cabinet. And then it comes with other colors. And I don't end up always using them. The other colors that come in the sets. I am getting a glue right now. Okay. Actually, no, I don't even want to glue these. I think I'm gonna use my builder base. Mm -hmm. My builder base is a little jacked up. Let me see. And it might be, yeah, I don't want to have to keep turning the bottom. I love that builder base by the way by um Beatles. I need to get some more of that as well. Because the last couple of months I haven't been doing nails as much. Um I gotta restock on some things. I've been doing like orders and stuff for my shop. But as far as like making new designs, I haven't as much. Usually, I'm very on top of um, what products I need ahead of time so that I don't run low and have to wait, but I've been too busy. Okay, so I just put some of that. I didn't realize that was out the frame. I put some of the builder base in um, on top. I'll show you on the other ones. Of the stick and then just added the nail on top and then I'm curing it this is a little lamp this actually came I think this came with the set it's beetles I have a couple of these lamps these small lamps are great so, so if you want to cure something like this like let's say you want to go around or you know you know, maybe you, you're sticking on a um, some type of charm on your, on your nail. And that way you don't have to try to hold the charm and stick your hand in the lamp and stuff. That's, it's just too much that way. So I like to get these or sometimes they come in a set. I know it looks very dirty. I, um, sometimes they come in a set and they come with legs so you could stand. And you can even use it that way because it's nice and spacious but i take the legs off and use it as like a little hand lamp all right so i don't want to confuse 
Let's see. Hope I got a marker right here. I'm just gonna try to rush and do this. Usually I would just usually I would just throw the swatches on there, but I don't want to confuse um what number it is. So I'm not gonna even write the name. I'm gonna write B P S P O five. That's this one. That's it. I just put some top coat because that um it will wipe off this marker. This is just a cheap look. It's a dry erase marker. I have some sharpies, but I don't know where they at right now. This one is B P S P O. Is it O six or O six? that real quick a little bit and I like to use like builder base or some type of builder gel to stick the nails on here because um it cures faster than just using glue and it stays put. See, see it's already curing, so that's good. Just stick that right in there. And I know I can just use this, but I don't like using this because all of my swatches are the, are this length and they're all stiletto. And the swatch sticks do come like this. They come stiletto style, but because I still have some, I'm, I haven't bought any more uh, swatch sticks. I may do so soon. If these colors weren't so similar and um, if I didn't want to write the name, which color it, it is, I would have just stuck these on a stick and called it a day and not even did all of this. But because the colors are so similar, I don't, I'm not going to know which one is which. Uh-oh. B-P-S-P-10. Oh, this looks horrible. Oh no. Okay, okay. Don't wipe off. Good. Yeah, but the colors are, are too similar. The whole point of me swatching is so I can know what color is what and how it looks. And I can't do that with these. I'm going to need to look at the name. one I think this is cranberries right yeah I was right let's cure that a little yeah when I ordered this I was like yes I do this right I'd be like oh my god I can't wait to that item comes and because I really want to use it and then it came and I had other things going on like I had other products and stuff like that 
And I was like, all right, I'll get, I'll, I'll get around to it because I've been wanting to do my nails like a jelly color. And then I just never got around to it. And it's literally been a couple of months. But that usually happens sometimes when I order something. Because usually the thing is, I'll be doing nails. And then I'll think of something and I'll be like, oh, I want to do my nails like this. Okay, but I think I need to go get that color because I don't have it. So then I order it. And then when it comes, I'm like, all right, I'm kind of busy now or... <laughs> I'm doing other things, so I completely forgot about this set. I just threw it in the drawer after a few days or so probably and forgot about it. Alright, this is Orphelia. This is a Beatles nail glue, by the way. I think I did a review on my other channel. No, I did do a review on it on my other channel. I'm not sure if I did on this channel. I believe I did, though. I'm using the nail glue. It's sort of like a, um, a Gel-X dupe. So I do use the, the nail glue that came with that set for other things like this. Um, when I put nail charms on, nail charms, or um, even rhinestones, I use builder base or some type of builder product like that nail glue. I don't use like rhinestone glue or anything. I actually don't think I've ever used rhinestone glue, so I can't even, I can't even tell you how rhinestone glue works, like if it's good or which one is good. Maybe I'll try it out one day. And this is the last one. SP Miss Coco. SP03. And we're done. Right after this, I have to place an order. I actually need more top glue, top coat as well. I always need top coat. And oops. Yeah, so I like this little hand lamps because I can do stuff like this. Especially if I'm doing my own nails. Like if the nails are already on. But if I'm doing somebody else's nails too, it's, it just works out great being able to maneuver the light. I know some people get a handheld like LED lights. Because um, I looked, I had looked up one of the hand lights, I forgot the name, if it's called a hand light or what. I remember a while ago I looked it up to purchase on Amazon and it was like $40 or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Get you one of these little $5, $10 um, mini lamps, take the legs off. That's it, call it a day. Yep, done. All of these other swatches are done. I don't know, know what that is. See, now you can definitely see the difference in color very pretty set so zoom in but that's pretty move my light around put some more light over here right 
Look at that. So this is like a nice, oh, this is gorgeous. What is this? SP05? This is Sycamore Street. I think I'm going to use that next. This looks like a nice beige, like, well, like a nice nude jelly colored. Oh, that is beautiful. And let me see. I don't know. It looks different on my hands. Miss Coco is 03. That's this one. I don't know. I have the same amount of coats, but for some reason, this looks... Let me see. This is Miss Coco. Doesn't it look more solid? I have the same amount of coats on here. Interesting. Yeah, I'm... I'm this is S3. This is S1, which is... Orphelia. Or you think I have Orphelia? No, right? I don't know. I guess I will never know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Those are the swatches. This is probably my favorite. And which whichever color I have in my head right now. <laughs> um yeah, this color is really nice, my favorite. And I really like this. This is cranberries pretty color and that's it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you next time take care bye bye